Hello friends, and hello enemies. I'm super excited to be recording today because we are looking at the Sphexian Mine Worker. This is from the new Outpost Zaxius release for Cosmic Legions, and as we all know, I'm a big Sphexian fan, a Sphex head is what I'm calling it. This was my definite must-have for this wave. I love the original Spexians, and this color variant is just too cool to pass up. Did you hear that noise? <laughs> I bought Dragon Age Origins for Xbox and it just finished downloading. But I'm not taking a break to play because I'll never stop and we have a review to get through and I'm excited for this guy. Or... girl. Just like the other Spexians, we have a weird uh, anomaly here. It looks like some paint rub from the face on the packaging, which I still don't know how that happened. It was the exact same on the other two Spexians as well, so who knows. As I mentioned in my Altar review, I love this packaging. Not only the colors, but the texture on this is so just like viscerally pleasing. On the side you get a blurb about Outpost Zaxius. On this side you get a blurb about the Spexian miners. Those are Spexians that work in the mines, not baby Spexians. But they're welcome to work in the mines too. Little grubs and hard hats. So on the back you have a nice little visual about all the characters that have been released so far. I think this is all of them. We might be missing a few. And a nice illustration of that outpost. Mornings, don't eat it. Don't give it to a three-year-old, because the three-year-old will eat it. I guarantee you, the three-year-old will eat it. So I'm really excited. Let's open up our Black Lung Sphexian. Sphexians are modeled after insects, so they probably don't have lungs. They probably breathe through pores. In which case, they don't get black lung, but they do get black pore. Which is unsightly. Alright, we've got our Sphexian out of the package. Uh, note that I haven't put in the extra arms yet. So there are two extra arms that are supposed to go back here. And there's also um, the option for wings or even more arms. So the other Sphexians only had the wings. They didn't have an option for even more arms right here. The miners are apparently uh, a little unique in that regard. They can have either wings or extra arms. And so this one has the option for both. So I will put those in in a moment. I just kind of want to mess around with it a little bit first, look at the articulation before I go plugging in any other parts. Because as much as I love the Spexians, the other two that I've looked at were very frustrating when it came to the extra parts. Spexians are definitely um, part of the pose it and then leave it alone forever club, but I still love them. They're beautiful and this one is no different. The black of its uniform really is striking against that pale skin. It's not white, it's kind of a cream color with some beautiful pink accents. So like how many subterranean creatures have like a pinkish hue to them, kind of um, kind of albino-like. We've also never had a Sphexian with its mouth open before. So take a look at that. Mouth open, tongue out, very insectoid looking tongue, long and curling, perfect for gathering nectar 
or whatever it is that these guys eat or drink. We don't really know much about the Sphexians. I just love the eyes on this one. Such beautiful berry eyes. And sure, right now they're screwed up in anger, but they aren't always that way. So even if you are a Sphexian miner not working in the space prison, you get the same kind of uniform, which is fine, it's reuse. On the back you've got some spines sticking out. You've got that abdomen with the stinger. I really love those pink accents. This is so deeply recessed it almost looks like it's meant to like lift up and, and be another segmented part. For the armor on this one, the textures are doing a lot of heavy lifting. It's mostly black. It's only offset here and there by a little bit of gunmetal and these textured plates. Otherwise, it's pretty much just matte black everywhere. I do like a bit more paint on my armor, so it'd be cool if it was like scuffed in places, if there was like metal showing up underneath that black paint. Once again, I wish the antenna were articulated. That would be so cute. You can get a little bit of movement out of these jaws just by virtue of the way that they're inserted, but it's not true articulation. They like to come out. No articulation on the jaw. It is just that way. And that's fine. Those would just be little bonuses. I can't talk too much smack about the Spexians. I just love them so much. Patrick doesn't understand. And honestly, neither do I. So I recall the articulation for these wasn't very stellar. <laughs> I feel like these are more of an art piece. Got head articulation, which is nice. You can get a lot of personality out of a tilt of the head. They've got some neck articulation, pretty basic arm articulation. Not much as far as the elbow goes. It just has that problem where the armor wants to run into each other. Got some really good twist at that waist. Leg out. Not very much on the knee. Again, you've got that armor problem. And you've got a pretty robust movement on the ankle. For the claw, you've got twist, of course. And up and down. It's a little sticky, so I wouldn't force that too much. I feel like it can go further, maybe. No, maybe not. I think the uh, gauntlet gets in the way. But a rule of thumb when it comes to these is if something feels like it can go further, but um, isn't, <laughs> don't push it. Just heat it up. I just love this creature, and the extra bits aren't even on yet, but uh, once the extra bits are on, uh, that's pretty much when you have to um, just pose it and put it aside, because those bits like to fall off. I don't know if that's something that has been fixed with this one. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, these are here to look cool and um, not do much else, which I personally don't have an issue with. So before we look at it all assembled, let's look at some accessories. So the Cosmic Legion lines have gotten a lot of mileage out of this base sculpt in particular. It was Vorga's gun, it was something else that I forget, and it is also this drill that the miner is using. Very cool futuristic drill. I think that um, at this point, if you are developed enough to have space travel, I think you could figure out a better way of mining. But this is rule of cool, and a space drill is cool. So the Sphexian miner will come with not two, but four extra little hands. Like I said, you can plug two of them in the back in lieu of wings if you want. I, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to do wings all the way. I just love the wings so much. So speaking of the wings, boom, here they are. These in particular are just beautiful. They're white and pink. They look like um, cherry blossom flowers. They're so pretty. I really think that this Vexian could just make a living being a model. I don't think they have to work in the mines. With wings like these, come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Start your modeling career. We get some extra hands. I believe these are trigger finger hands, but it's hard to tell. They're grasping hands of, of some sort. Definitely not the traditional humanoid grasping hands. And last, we get another head portrait with the mouth closed and the eyes more open. Not as angry, not hissing, but we also get these uh, pinchers that are open. We haven't seen these open pinchers before. We've only seen these ones. So it stands to reason that the open pinchers would go with the angry head, and the calm pinchers would go with the calm head. 
but you can mix and match however you want. As much as I love the hissing head with that tongue out and that crazy mandible, I really like this face where it's just kind of like passive, just like hanging out and watching. Just look at that beautiful little face, the cute little pink eyebrows, the beautiful berry purple eyes. So cute. Man, I love these guys. Am I, I can't be the only one, can I? Any other Spex heads out there? Let me know. If you are a Spex head, write Spex head in the comments right now. But yeah, beautiful sculpt. Uh, now comes the part that I, I don't look forward to, and that is the attaching of all the bits and then trying to make sure the bits don't fall off. So um, let me go dunk this little Spexian in some hot water, and we'll try to attach some accoutrements. Okay. That was an ordeal. I unfortunately knew it would be, but it was a bit more of an ordeal than I thought it was going to be. I heated it up so, so hot. These extra arms still did not want to plug in. Then I finally got them in, then got to work on plugging in the back arms, which I don't even want to keep because I'd, I'd rather have the wings, but I thought I would show you guys how it looks. So the problem I ran into then is that this is a whole separate piece and it likes to come off. So it just kept wanting to pop off while I was putting these in, and uh, putting these in was like nigh impossible. My fingies are all bruised. So not only was it impossible to put these in, then they wanted to start popping off at the elbows, then this thing wanted to start popping off, and then these extra arms at the torso wanted to start popping off, and it was just like parts flying everywhere. Additionally, um, the legs, now that it's been heated up, are pretty, pretty loose. There's definitely not as much uh, tension there as I would like. It still stands fine, but it's definitely a little uh, loose need for sure. So yeah, you can have it with these extra arms in the back. I, I mean, that's cool, but I just like, I love these wings so much. I can't envision it not having the wings. So let's give this Fexian its beautiful, beautiful wings. Come on, man. Come on. So yeah, to each their own, and it is really cool that we get the option for extra arms in the back, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to display this Vexian without its beautiful wings. They are just gorgeous. I think they totally make the figure. I do have a little issue with this one being a bit droopy, like it doesn't want to stay into the peg. Also, it just like kind of wants to drop a little bit more. The wings also throw the balance off a little bit, as does this mining rig. So <laughs> it wants to fall over a little bit more than before. So yeah, unfortunately the Sphexian falls under the Sphexian umbrella of beautiful but frustrating. Like I said, the others were like that too. I kind of knew this one would be no different. Yeah, I love the Sphexians, but they are rough. They are rough to uh, put the accessories in. So because I don't want pieces popping out again, let's look at the articulation on one of these little, little arms unattached to the body so it can rotate on this joint. You've got an up and down movement. You've got a rotation here and another up and down there. You've got swivel at that claw. So pretty good articulation even for just this little piece. But man, I would I would want to probably pose these first and then plug them in. Uh, I don't even know if that would help because you do have to manipulate these a lot when you're plugging them into the holes. So they get moved out of place and stuff. Um, for the wings, just plug in back here, get up and down, you can get some back movement too. Yeah, it's having trouble standing now that I've loosened up the joints and added that gun and these wings. It's just a lot for the figure to handle. So yeah, you can also fold the wings behind it. Um, they do hit the ground if you fold them too much. But you can also have them as like a tripod kind of, kind of add some more balance. Yeah, it is unfortunate that these figures are so frustrating because I love them so much. I think this is my favorite one. I don't know, I like the blue one too. So beautiful. I love the Sphexians, but I will not lie and say that they are not very frustrating. So here's the Sphexian Miner compared to, uh, I believe this is the Sphexian Block Commander. So yeah, basically just the same creature with, oh shoot. So yep, yeah, just the same creature with a different 
paint, which I'm fine with. Um, honestly, as long as they keep releasing Sphexians, I'll probably keep buying them. <laughs> but yeah, these are these ones are rough. They have a hard time standing up, especially if you want to add things like weapons. I'm not a Sphexian apologist. I am a Sphexian enjoyer. I can admit that they have faults. So here is the Sphexian mine worker next to Zirian Spire. She's a little bit of a smaller Cosmic Legions figure. You've got figures like Vorga, uh, who are a bit more of a standard size, the Tusk Agents. Um, Bygar, I think, is a little bit larger. But with Ziri, you still get a, a good sense of scale. So these guys aren't too big. They're not small either. They have a lot of bulk. Definitely not as much bulk as like someone like Slog. But there's a lot going on with them. And yeah, I know I keep saying it, but for all their faults and all their frustrations, I love these guys. I just love the way they look. They are beautiful, beautiful pieces. To be honest, and I don't want to make this weird because I don't mean it that way, but I would love to see a naked Sphexian. I really want to see the anatomy underneath all that because they've got this like a, uh, this stinger abdomen piece, but they've also got this like cod piece thing right here. So like, what's that about? I want to see their little feet. It's been established in the Cosmic Legions line. You get lots of cute little feet. I want to see how this like hump works. They've got a very, very uh, narrow waist and that is fitting with their name. But yeah, I think as long as you go into getting a Spexian knowing that it's going to be frustrating and you might lose your mind a little bit, uh, <laughs> they're worth it. Just get them into the position you want. Uh, maybe get some blue tech there, set them up, and never touch them again. That's my advice. So, after this, we only have one more Cosmic Legion to look at, and that is Kalian Shun. And then we are done without post Saxius. We only ordered three of them. And then we will move on to um, other things. What other things? I don't know. It's always a mystery. And that's why you keep coming back. And I say that with full confidence. Likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. And I will see you guys on the next one.